Hello once again, this is Heath and this is Frontier Survival. How you doing today? Hope everybody's having a great day. I know I am. Why? Because I'm right here in the woods. Even though it is sprinkling rain just a little bit, no big deal. Today I'm coming to you with, a, with uh, some gear reviews. Uh, I recently purchased a new knife. Uh, you've seen videos on these knives uh, through various uh, sources, uh, other bushcraft uh, people who uh, do uh, videos on YouTube, uh, survivalists. Uh, even Dave Canterbury, um, well-known survivalist who has the Pathfinder School and uh, does his own YouTube channel, uh, swears by this knife. And I'm talking about the Old Hickory Butcher Knife. Old Hickory right there. It's got a hickory handle. It's a 7-inch blade, high carbon steel, full tang knife. And it's just a regular old kitchen butcher knife. But a lot of people have modified it and, you know, cut down this part you know, to make it more of a sleek knife, but it's a great knife, uh, it stays sharp, um, it's a good knife to baton with, it's a good knife to process wood with, uh, to build shelters with, it's just the all-around good bushcraft knife. It's not a mora, but it's a good knife. Um, I'll show you a little thing here on, you know, notching a stick. Now watch this. Now look here, I just kind of chewed into it, but that, that's, that's what that knife can do. And um, it's only about 9 to 12 bucks on Amazon. It doesn't come with a sheath, so a lot of people buy the leather K-Bar 7-inch sheath. But, did I do that? No, I didn't. I already had a sheath from an old knife that I broke. Just a regular old nylon sheath, if you can see it right here. So what I did was modify this. Now this, this, this sheath does not retain the knife very good, so I put a little screw in here, and it's just, you know, a beater knife, so it ain't no big deal. Put a little screw in there to where, when I put this in my sheath, the snap will actually retain it and keep it there. Now another thing I got, uh, gear-wise, um, is a Bayite half-inch in diameter you know, five, six inches long ferrule rod. And it's got its little scraper attached with some paracord. Now this is a great ferrule rod as far as, you know, you're gonna get a lot of strikes out of this because of, of the thickness and how big it is. But watch these sparks fly off here. You can't beat that. Ever strike, sparks, ever strike, sparks. And, you know, this is a good, good ferrule rod. I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of five stars and I give the Old Hickory Butcher Knife of five out of five stars. Why? Because I think they're awesome. Now, you know, I am really great grateful that I was able to purchase these two items and, you know, that's going to help me with uh, doing different things. As you can see in the background, I'm uh, starting a lean-to shelter. Uh, got a little piece of plastic that I had, uh, you know, draping over there to keep, uh, you know, and then I'm going to throw some debris on top some leaves and whatnot to make it look more primitive, I guess you'd say. That plastic's not really primitive, is it? But anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there. Uh, just wanted to talk about those two things, um, you know, the knife and the ferro rod, uh, some gear, you know, every now and again I'll do some reviews and, and, and uh, you know, I'm thankful that I was able to purchase these two things, like I said. Another thing is, um, as of right now, this channel has 56 subscribers. Um, you know, uh, my last video on the starting a fire with a little ferro rod buckle uh, has got over 100, 100 views now. Uh, you know, I'm thankful for everybody who has subscribed. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, tap that notification bell, and, um, you know, that way you always get notified when I drop a new video. And, um, you know, like the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel. You know, that's all I can say, and, and I really appreciate everybody that has so far. Hey, this has been Frontier Survival. My name is Heath Ward. We'll see you next time.